Good evening, I'm Mary Jo Ola. High drama and heavy emotion is expected this week for the murder retrial of Jessica Chambers. It's a case with, with national attention. Chambers was 19 when she was set on fire and died in December 2014 in Panola County, Mississippi. 29-year-old Quentin Tellis is accused of killing Chambers and prosecutors are retrying the case after a hung jury last October. Local 24's Brad Broders is live in the studio. Brad. Well, Mary Jo, the trial proceedings are expected to get underway Tuesday in Panola County after a jury pool is selected in Starkville, Mississippi, Monday. For Jessica Chambers' family, the trial is another opportunity for justice nearly five years after her death. So I'm, I'm sick. I'm, you know, I'm just sick. My son is a wonderful son. Conflicting emotions and chaos last October after a hung jury and mistrial in the Jessica Chambers murder case. Now, nearly a year later, prosecutors get a second chance to convince a different jury to convict Chambers' accused killer, 29-year-old Quentin Tellis, who maintains his innocence. First responders found the 19-year-old Chambers burnt, staggering, and barely alive near her charred car December 6, 2014, in Cortland, Mississippi, 60 miles south of Memphis. A grand jury indicted Tellus in 2016, 14 months after the crime. During last year's first trial, nearly a dozen first responders, many emotional, testified Chambers told them a man named Eric or Derek committed a crime before she died. She had her arms out, was coming towards me, saying, help me, help me, help me. That was a major sticking point for Tellus's defense attorneys, who argued that admission proved authorities had the wrong person on trial. Ms. Chambers did not say Quentin set her on fire. She just did not say that, and we cannot ignore that. Panola County District Attorney John Champion said at trial he believed Tellus suffocated Chambers before setting her car on fire to cover up evidence. Champion also argued phone correspondence put Tellus with Chambers the night of her death. When he's confronted with the physical evidence, the cell phone data, there was no way out for him. None whatsoever. Now, prosecutors expect that Jessica Chambers' murder retrial will last a week or so if convicted Quentin Tellis faces life in prison without parole. Brad Broder's Local 24 News.